we're gonna start with this Clinique moisturizer it says it's a gel moisturizing uh, cream it's really nice in the skin and especially if you have dry skin this will help your skin look so much better when you apply the makeup I just apply it five minutes before I apply my foundation so my skin just absorbs everything because this weather really dry out there foundation I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi you guys if you have dry skin especially during the winter and you just want a little bit more of a glow this is just a drugstore favorite you gotta go get this because it will give you such a healthy glow to your skin and it really lasts a long time so yeah this is my recommendation if you have dry skin I'm the shade W6 some beige in this warm category but you just let me know if you like this foundation Okay, really fast, I just gotta mention that I have been using eyelash glue for my brows and the only reason is because I wanted to do the soap brow style on my brows and there's one patch of hairs that never go up and then they never want to look nice, you know, like with that feathery kind of look, they just always go down. So. The only thing that has been keeping them up is this this thing. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do my brows. You just apply them once it's dry. I just apply it um, spoolie and then I just fill it in. But yeah, that's. I just wanted to mention that. And let me know if you guys want a tutorial or me showing you how I do it. But yeah, I'll be right back when I have brows. powder today I'm gonna be using Beauty Bakery flower powder in translucent you guys need to check this company out I don't see it like I don't see a lot of people mentioning them just a few and you guys need to check them out they have a lot of products for everybody and that's what I love about them and a woman it's the owner you guys need to check it out you can buy beauty bakery products in Ulta and also at beautybakery.com so I'm gonna leave all the links in the description for you guys to try it out I don't leave it for a long time just for a close to a minute and I just brush it up because I have really dry skin and you don't want to emphasize that I just want to keep certain areas matte for my foundation to use last longer so this is my base, as you guys can see. <laughs> We're gonna start with the shade Fresh with a fluffy brush all over the eyelid. Some sauce all over the crease. Next, I'm gonna be using this shadow FOMO. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. All over the eyelid. So you guys can see the finger application for this eyeshadow is much better than 
with a brush so just letting you guys know and I'm not applying it super precisely as you can see there's a little bit of shadow in my um, in this area but I'm gonna blend a little bit there in a little bit I'm just gonna blend a little bit there so pretty. So for this video, I wanted to compare popular lashes from Lily Lashes and Aliexpress Lashes. As you guys know, Lily Lashes are like the most used lashes in Hollywood and they're really popular on Instagram. But girl, these are $60 for these two freaking styles. Style Miami, Style Diamonds, and it comes with a rose gold applicator, which I wish it was a little bit more, I don't know, I wish it, this will open a little more so I will have a little bit more of help applying my lashes, if you guys know what I mean, and it just doesn't really help me apply it. Anyways, I'm going to be comparing the Style Miami and this random one that I got from Aliexpress. I got another five ones, but they are already in the trash because I already used them and they got really bad. But they are really inexpensive. So, you guys, let me know. Do you guys use Lily Lashes? Because, girl, they're $60. Okay. This is the Lily Lash. As you guys can see, I already used it. And... Yeah, it's really beautiful curl. It will make your eyes stand out. Not really um, dramatic, but enough for your eye to look open and flurry and beautiful. Beautiful look. So you guys can see this is how it looks on the side. Yeah. This is the AliExpress lash. As you guys can see, uh, they're not like the same exact style but they're really like it's really spare and natural beautiful length it will give you a beautiful look and really lightweight honestly i'm gonna be sharing with you guys the link down below i feel like these lashes are maybe a hit or a miss also i don't know i'm just expecting the lily lashes to always be perfect but with the other styles that I also got from Aliexpress, I will say two out of five I didn't like because the hairs just came off right, right off as I was about to use them. Yeah. The first one that we're gonna be applying is the Lily Lash on the left eye. Oh God, I just hope this lasts <laughs> or comes out good because if not, my eyes are gonna look weird. But I really feel like they're really alike. I swear. So, we'll see. So, you guys, this is the Lily Lash and this is the AliExpress Lash. What do you think? Because this right here, my friend, um... That's $30 per lash. And these ones are like two, three dollars in a range from two to four or almost five dollars. But you guys, how many lashes can I get for 60 instead of just one or two? <laughs> um yeah, I'm gonna ask people and see what they think and see what they think looks better and we'll see. Let me know what do you think looks better. Aliexpress, the right, and Lily Lash, the left. Well, for my lips, I'm obsessed with this Fenty lip gloss. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you have uh, dry lips, you need this. It really hydrates your lips. It's not just a cute 
pretty lip gloss it really hydrates your lips so a uh, winter must have I might say so I'm asking family members which lash looks like the expensive one and which one looks like the cheap one so which one this is left and this is right right mm -hmm. so which one do you guys think is the expensive one? This one, one is cheap. cheap. No. And that one is the expensive one. I think one. this one's the expensive one. That one's the cheap one. Ah. Opposite reaction. So you guys let me know in the comments which one do you guys think. Do they look alike for you guys? Yeah. Yes. They look like the same style? Yeah. Like if I told you, you guys well, thought. This one just seems a little bit more thicker than the left one. one. Than the right one. Okay. But it might be how. No, it's true. Oh, is okay, it? Yeah. Oh, okay. A little thicker, yeah, but it's the same style. Cool. I'm excited to let you guys know the results and what else people say. Because, yeah. And this is Hannah. Hi. Isn't she like the cutest? I love her. You guys say hi to Hannah. She just turned 15 years old. Say happy birthday, Hannah. Yeah. So. Um, I'm gonna ask more family members what do they think and I'm um, filming at the end of the day so now I'm asking the house which lash do you think is this expensive lash and which one is a cheap one left or right I'm like filming everybody's responses right but you gotta say is it your left or our left this is my left and this is my right so which one Probably the right one. The right one Your is expensive? Right one, yeah. Okay, and the left one is a cheap one? It looks like... Oh, pain. why? Why? I want to hear your... You I, know? I can see your regular eyelash in that bitch. Okay. It's getting tired. Okay. But... If you're looking for more extravagant, the left one is more extravagant. I don't know. Very but cool. the left one what? The left one just looks like the... the Eyelashes. I can still see your eye, regular eyelashes. So that's the cheap one for you. Yeah. Okay. So we got different responses. Let's just keep going, and, oh. and when I get home, I'll let you guys know. Okay. So overall thoughts, you guys. Um, I guess you know family members, the day-to-day -day woman. A lot of them don't wear a lot of lashes sometimes, but mixed reviews, you know, 50-50. Some of them thought that this was, you know, the opposite. So you guys tell me, what do you think? Honestly, the lashes 60 for just two and the applicator. And you guys saw how problematic, uh, how, how many problems, you know, I have with the applicator. So uh, I will say just do it for you know <laughs> get it reposted if you guys want to get in the brand's instagram but other than that i feel like you can get so many other lashes that have you know even the the same style or even better and i'm just gonna put some of those other brands in the description box for you guys to check it out because a lot of them are smaller companies woman owned that just need a little bit more of love you know but if you guys have the budget and just wanna you know be bougie go ahead and buy lily lashes but other than that i feel like overall thoughts i'm just gonna get mine you know from other stores because it's just yeah it's too much too much right anyways let me know what you think about these lashes have you guys tried it have you guys tried aliexpress lashes honestly that is a hit or miss sometimes but eh, for the price come on anyways uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys like the concept also and what other products we can you know test out in the future so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye suscribirse etc y a ver qué qué tipo de videos quieren ver en el futuro bye